Hey kiddos, welcome to 90 plus India's first animated live tuition and we are back with a one shot series. Any idea? Either chapter na one shot aunna. You can see the periodic table in my background and the periodic table is dancing around. From that you might have guessed it. Yes, it is chapter number three, metals and non-metals. One of my favorite chapters. So easy peasy. Korcha reactions in LA. Just like every other chapters. That's it. Reactions are padichanya. Korcha concept are clear aiganya. The easiest chapter that you have to study is metals and non-metals. So without wasting any time, let's start. What's the first task that we have? We have to differentiate between metals and non-metals. Metals and non-metals differentiate here. We'll do one thing. First, we'll take their physical properties. Physical properties which it will differentiate here. So I have here brought a big table for you. Okay? Yes. The first physical property that we are gonna check is luster. What do you mean by luster? Luster no jina shine jaya. The property to shine just like my students. Okay, so metals okay and that they are lustrous. I've got a shiny appearance on it. You might have seen oh, on a little or a silvery grayish or some somewhat like goldenish yellow color shine okay now metals in a leg. Yes. Now what about non-metals? They do not have any luster. I want non-lustrous on it. Except iodine, okay. Except iodine. Now, not just iodine, graphite, diamond, they also have luster. Okay, now iodine is the one given in your textbook. All right, yes, so luster then. The next property is hardness. Okay, metals are generally hard, they are very hard, except we have sodium and potassium. Now, lithium is also a soft metal. Okay. We have some exceptions as well. Like every other case chemistry, there will be exceptions. And the exceptions are the maximum questions examined. Okay, yes. Now, what about non-metals? Non-metals are generally soft and a little soft. Okay, not like metals. Metals are hard, but non-metals are soft. The next property is malleability. In the malleability, it is the property by which the metal can be beaten into thin sheets. I'm going to hammer it, hammer it, thin sheets are coming to. You might have seen gold foil, okay, aluminium foil, silver foil. It's okay, the very thin nitrous sheet are coming to metals in LA. Yes, so that is malleability. Non-metals are not non-metals in the lab, malleable. They are not malleable. The next physical property that we have to see is ductility. What do I mean by ductility? It is a property by which the metal can be drawn into thin wires. Wires are it copper wire or conductor now. Like conducting wire. Now the electricity can conduct here. It's actually copper, right? Yes. So metals are ductile. What about non-metals? Non-metals in the lab. Ductility can All right. Now the next property is conductivity. Okay. They are good conductors of heat and electricity are metals. Okay, metals are generally good conductors of heat and electricity. We also have exemptions. Okay, now what about non metals? Non metals in the la heat and electricity conduct the la. But what about graphite? Graphite is a non metal, but it is a good conductor of electricity. Now, what about diamond? Diamond is also a non metal, but a very good conductor of heat. Okay, we table okay on low lustre, hardness, malleability, ductility, and conductivity. Now we are not done with the physical properties. We have more. We have melting point and boiling points. Metals in Danario, they generally have very high melting point and boiling point. Could you exceptions and mercury, gallium, sodium, lithium, potassium, even kokendana melting point. Very low one. Okay. Now, non metals. Non metals in the low melting point and low boiling point. Are, except diamond. Diamond is the hardest substance known on earth, right? Yes, sir. Diamond is an exception for non metals. 
Then comes sonority. Sonority no chenda. Beetle kitchen laga patrang laga kena thamil thamil engle kooti digi bo. They produce a sound, right? Or a cling cling sound. Yes. Our property ni anu mas sonority no ayi. Okay. It can produce sound, a ringing sound when hit. So metals are sonorous. What about non-metals? They are not sonorous. All right. Yes. Then comes density. Metals, okay, they are generally, they have very high density compared to non-metals. What should we Exception on the lithium, sodium, potassium, okay, exception on our, okay, low density on it. All right. Now, physical state of the majority, the majority of the metals are in solid state except mercury. Mercury is the only metal existing in liquid state. Clear I love? Yes. Then what about non-metals? All non-metals except bromine are either solids or gases. Solids are a little gases are But we have a non-metal which exists as a liquid at room temperature and that is bromine. Alright. Now we have some physical properties. We will differentiate you. But the problem is you can see from the table, we have lot of exceptions. Exception or exception. So is it the only or the accurate way to differentiate between a metal and a non-metal? No, right? For that, we have to check into their chemical properties as well. Okay, now we can accurate item, metals in non-metals in like differentiate angle, we need to check into their chemical properties. And the first point that you have to remember is metals are electropositive in nature and non-metals so they are electronegative in nature. And the electropositive, electronegative machine here. Don't worry, I have an example for you. Look, we have sodium which is a metal and chlorine which is a non-metal. Now, look at sodium. Sodium in that chain area, it readily loses its electron. Okay, metals, okay, they are ready to lose their electrons to form positively charged ions called cations. Positively charged ions, and cations. Yes, since they are readily, like, readily willing to lose their electrons, we can say that metals are electropositive. Electron lose, then they will get a positive charge. So, metals are electropositive. What about non-metal? Chlorine is a non-metal. Chlorine and the they are ready to accept electrons. Electron accept it, they will get a negative charge. A negative ion. Anion forms you. Yes, so we can say that chlorine and the non-metals and the electron negative in nature. Okay? And I'm going to the first chemical property. Alright? Yes. Now, <clears throat> let's check the reaction with oxygen. Okay. Or metal, when it combines with oxygen, we have burnt magnesium ribbon. You might have done it in your lab as well. And there, the mag magnesium is a metal, as you know. Magnesium, oxygen, and combined to the pore. What was the product we got? It was magnesium oxide, right? Yes. So, metal will combine with oxygen to form what? Metal oxide. And we have already completed acid, bases, and salts. And acid bases also, which is a point for the low. What was it? What is the nature of metal oxide? Metal oxides are generally basic in nature. Okay. Metal oxide and the aerium? Basic aerium. Clear I reaction with oxygen? Simple like metal will combine with oxygen to form what? Metal oxide, which is basic in nature. All right. The next one. The next important point that you have to keep in mind is Ella metals are polarically reactive. Okay, they have different reactivities. For example, we have sodium and potassium. Okay, the reactivity series is you They are in the top of the reactivity series and reactivity series are top of the They are highly reactive. So, sodium and potassium reacts vigorously with oxygen even at room temperature. Room temperature, room temperature they are very vigorously reacting with 
oxygen to form their oxides. Okay, since the reaction is so violent, how will we store it? They are kept immersed in kerosene. Okay, oxygen contact to reduce the amount They are kept immersed in kerosene oil. Okay, yes. Now, we have other metals like magnesium, aluminium, zinc and lead. They can also combine with oxygen at ordinary temperature. But, sodium and potassium are vigorous. Okay, it is a slow reaction. Normally, in the name of the slow white react, it will form their oxide. Okay, look at aluminium, it reacts with oxygen and to form a protective layer of aluminium oxide. It is a slow process. <coughs> okay, but, I'm so sorry. It's a slow process, but what it can come, it can do this in the room temperature as well. Frequently asked question that aluminium is a very reactive metal, you know that. But still, number of food items of the story, I mean, utensils of Indagamita, then why do we use aluminium? Or a non-reactive metal metal you see though. Okay, it's a frequently asked question. What's our answer? Aluminium oxygenated reactive that it will form a protective layer of its oxide. A protective oxide layer forms you. Right? This layer, why is it said to be protective? Because the metals are preventing from further corrosion. If aluminium oxide layer forms you, aluminium oxide layer is a protective layer. The aluminium is not oxygenated or contact. Alright? Yes. So, this protective layer will prevent the metal from further oxidation. Okay, yes. Then, the next set of metals, iron. Okay, iron does not burn, but iron filings. Yes, if that, if we sprinkle that in the flame, of, it can burn. Okay, it can burn. So, iron, will you piece of the iron metal burn? It's not going to happen. But if you sprinkle some iron filings, it can burn vigorously. All right. Then last, we have copper. Copper burns jayla, but when you uh, when it is subjected to prolonged heating, am korei heat You can see a black color coating. Okay, you can see a black color coating of what? Black color coating of copper oxide. Okay, so now copper is reacting with oxygen. To form a black color coating of copper oxide to CuO. This is how you balance it, right? Yes, copper reacting with oxygen to form a black color coating of copper oxide. It is black in color. All right, yes. Then we have some metals which are least reactive. Reactive disease is in the eight to bottom. We have silver, we have glow. Gold, gold and platinum. Okay. If you have high temperature, they will not react with oxygen. Least reactive metals are reactivity. That's why it is used to make jewelries and all. Okay. Reactivity. And not only that, they are malleable, they are ductile. Okay. So these are the reasons why we use silver, gold and platinum to make jewelries. So that's it. Now, <clears throat> that is a very important topic in your textbook. That is amphoteric oxide. One word in a chodikim. Assertion reason in a chodikim. Two words in a chodikim. Okay, the favorite portion of your examiners. Okay, it is amphoteric oxide. We said that metal oxides are basic in nature. Alright, but we have some exceptions. We have to study two oxides which can react with acid as well as base and either they show acidic character as well as basic character ingan thal kariyana nammal endu parayunnathu amphoteric oxides ennu parayunnathu the first example that, that you have to study is aluminium oxide look here aluminium oxide is reacting with an acid first to produce what salt and water okay yes now the same, very same person can react with a base as well. Look, it is reacting with sodium hydroxide to form sodium aluminate, which is our salt here, and water. Clear? See how they are reacting? It can react with an acid and as well as base. 
such oxides are called amphoteric oxide aluminum oxide mathram ana namukku padikkanallathu no we have one more example that is zinc oxide look zinc oxide can also react with an acid and as well as a base to form salt and water now look the second reaction what is na2zno2 what is its name it is sodium zincate okay sodium zincate appo acid nayum base nayum react cheyan pattana oxides aanu amphoteric oxide and you have to study the examples as well aluminum oxide and zinc oxide done done understood now what about <clears throat> yes done understood it is sodium zincate all right yes moving on now <clears throat> we saw that metal oxides okay metal oxides can be dissolved in water now water is soluble in the metal oxides they form something called alkalis okay alkalis up in the alkalis we have already discussed this in chapter 2 that is acids bases and salts alle ivarakke bases aanu okay ivarella bases aanu but the bases that can be dissolved in water is known as alkali all right look we have sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide aluminum hydroxide and copper hydroxide right they are all bases but are they all alkalis no out of these only sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are alkalis why because they dissolve in water in water le dissolve in a al like uh, bases ne aanu nammal endu parayunnathu alkalis endu parayunnathu done all right yes now moving on now we'll study the reaction of non metals with air like metals non metals also react with oxygen and they form what non metal oxide and what is the nature of the non metal oxide it will be acidic in nature generally avar endana acidic aanu we also have neutral oxides few exam like a uh, few exceptions okay yes so generally endana non metal oxides are acidic in nature that's it reaction with air is done now let's see the reaction of metals with water okay metals water net react in the first they form metal oxide and hydrogen gas okay in a e metal oxide further it combines with water to form metal hydroxide but metals water net react in which gas is liberated it is hydrogen gas now നമ്മൾ ഓക്സിജന്റെ റിയാക്ഷൻ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ തന്നെ എല്ലാ മെറ്റൽസും ദ ഡോണ്ട് റിയാക്ട് ഇൻ ദ സെയിം വേ ദേ ഹാവ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് റിയാക്ഷൻ റേറ്റ്സ് ലെറ്റ്സ് സീ ദി എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് സോഡിയം ആൻഡ് പൊട്ടാസിയം ദ ഹൈലി റിയാക്റ്റീവ് വൺസ് ആൻഡ് ദേ റിയാക്ട് വൈലന്റ്ലി ഈവൻ വിത്ത് കോൾഡ് വാട്ടർ തണുത്ത വെള്ളം കൊടുത്താലും ഒരു വളരെ വൈലന്റ് ആയിട്ടാണ് റിയാക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നത് യു മൈറ്റ് ഹാവ് ഡൺ ദിസ് എക്സ്പെരിമെന്റ് ഇൻ യുവർ ലാബ് ആസ് വെൽ ഓക്കേ യെസ് so sodium combines with what hydrogen to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas and this reaction is highly exothermic exothermic no change it releases a lot of heat okay now namak ariyam hydrogen is a highly inflammable gas now the heat produced here is sufficient enough to burn hydrogen avad undavuna hydrogen it immediately catches fire okay so sodium water in the same time you can see fire as well see the evolved hydrogen immediately catches fire and you know like what it is a very violent reaction all right yes now what about the next set of elements we have calcium calcium can also react with cold water calcium also react with cold water but this reaction nammude sodium thinne potassium thinne pole athra violent alla okay it is less violent all right yes now this is the reaction here calcium is reacting with water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas now ivada heat release cheyunnundu but the heat release is not enough for the hydrogen to catch fire and ഈ എക്സ്പെരിമെന്റ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്ത് നോക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു ക്യാൻ ഒബ്സർവ് ദ ആഫ്റ്റർ സം ടൈം കാൽസ്യം ഉണ്ടല്ലോ കാൽസ്യം ഇറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ടു ഫ്ലോട്ട് ഓൺ വാട്ടർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ബിക്കോസ് ദ ഹൈഡ്രോജൻ ഗ്യാസ് അല്ലേ ഹൈഡ്രോജൻ ഗ്യാസിന്റെ ബബിൾസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് സ്റ്റക്ക് ഓൺ കാൽസ്യം നമ്മുടെ മെറ്റലിന്റെ മുകള
as a result it will float on water okay so calcium can also react with cold water but the reaction is less violent when compared to that of that with sodium and potassium all right next we have magnesium magnesium will not react with cold water magnesium in react angle the water should be hot okay yes magnesium reacts with what what water hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas now calcium float similarly magnesium also floats it is because of the same reason hydrogen gas bubbles forms it got, it will get stuck on the surface of the metal and a metal like as the bubbles go up metal it goes up and it start floating on the surface all right yes <clears throat> now we have other metals aluminium zinc and iron moderately reactive hydro metals are like they will not react with cold water. They will not react with hot water. They react with steam. steam react. Okay, neither they will neither react with cold water nor hot water. react It needs steam. Okay, here's the example. <coughs> now aluminium, it is reacting with steam to form what? To form its oxide, aluminium oxide. See here. Iron, it is reacting with steam to form what? It's oxide and along with that, hydrogen gas is liberated. Now, let me ask you a question. You have to react, like, react either to liberating the gas. And then hydrogen, how will you prove it? How will you prove it? You already know it. In lower classes, in the first chapter, second chapter, what we will do? E evolve in the gas in it. We will show a burning matchstick. Now, if it burns with, if the gas burns with a pop sound, we can confirm that the gas evolved here as hydrogen. Okay, I'm going to write the reaction of zinc with steam. Here look, zinc, which is a solid, it reacts with what? Steam. Steam to form zinc oxide and hydrogen gas. Alright, this will be the reaction of zinc and water all right clear i love easy alike now this is an important experiment and you have to keep this in mind all right yes we are moving ahead now we have another another set of metals we have lead we have copper we have silver we have gold they will not react with water or water night in the react all right now what about non-metals Non-metals will not react with water. What is this? We have phosphorus here. And number phosphorus 8th standard as an example for spontaneous combustion. Or a petal and a room temperature it catches fire, right? Yes. So since non-metals, phosphorus or non-metal analog, since they do not react with water, if phosphorus is stored in, we use water. The phosphorus is stored under water. Okay, why? Because non-metals do not react with water. All right. Yes. Now let's see the reaction of metals with acid. Okay. Yes. Metal acid nitro react we get salt and hydrogen gas. Now I have another question. Is this Monday Georgia question? Ella metals will they react in the same manner? Let's check it out. So can we play that animation? And let's check whether all the metals are reacting in the similar way. Okay. Yes, I've brought some test tubes, I've brought some metals and some acids, and let's check whether they react in a similar way or not. Yes, here guys, I have five test tubes. Now let's add. Yes, five metals. Okay, so can you please pause? Ah, oh, no, you can please. Here we have magnesium, we have aluminium. Yes, sir, then what we do? What do we have? We have zinc, we have iron, and last we have copper. Okay, yes, you can clearly see. Yes, sir, you can please. You can clearly see that E metals, okay, they are reacting in different manner. Like magnesium, okay, it is vigorously reacting with the acid. Aluminium, it is less. Pinning in a reactivity, what about copper? Copper, in the, it is not even reacting with our acid. Okay? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You can remove the animation. That's it. Okay. So, different metals react in different manner. 
these are the reactions. Okay, magnesium, it is reacting with hydrochloric acid to form what? Magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Aluminium forms aluminium chloride and hydrogen gas. Zinger thalo, we get zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Iron, on reacting with acid, gives uh, ferric, ferric chloride and what? Hydrogen gas. Okay, it is ferrous chloride. Sorry, Fe2, well, right? FeCl2 and hydrogen gas. Now, what about copper? Copper will not react with dilute acids. Because in the reactivity series, hydrogen is and copper. Yes, so copper will not react with acid. Clear, I love? Okay? Yes. Now, <clears throat> metals acid to react it will form uh, hydrogen gas. Now, we have an exception. Metals nitric acid to react there will be no evolution of hydrogen gas. Our hydrogen gas produce illa. Any idea why? Because nitric acid it is a strong oxidizing agent. Okay, so our liberate in a hydrogen gas in it will oxidize it into water. Okay, hydrogen gas have down. Immediately, a hydrogen gas in a oxidize it gets converted into water. In the nitric acid, sundamite is reduced, it will get converted into its oxide. Either NO or NO2 or NO2. Okay? Yes, nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. Our produce the hydrogen in the it is oxidizing the hydrogen to water and itself get reduced into its oxides. Clear I love or exception. Now we have an exception in this exception. Two metals that is magnesium and manganese. In magnesium manganese, they can react with very dilute HNO3. Very, very dilute HNO3 to react either the they can evolve what hydrogen gas. Clear? Done? Yes. Now <clears throat> we have a royal solvent here. Why? It is aqua regia, gold, gold, uh, platinum, like least reactive metals. Yes, now look, aqua regia is a solvent. It's the Latin word for royal water. What is it actually? It is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated hydrochloric acid in the ratio 1 is to 3. Now, Concentrated nitric acid separated it is not able to dissolve gold. Okay. Concentrated hydrochloric acid it cannot dissolve gold. But even a pratig ratio, even a mix, it is able to dissolve even the least reactive metals like gold. Now aqua regia is one of the few, few solvents that can dissolve gold. Okay. Yes, so you have to study the concentration of aqua regia. And it is a Latin for what? Royal water. Alright? Okay? Yes, that's it. <clears throat> now, what about non-metals and the reaction with acid? Non-metals will not react with acid. Yay, you don't have to study any more reactions in this series. Okay? Yes, non-metals will not react with what? Acid. That's it. <clears throat> now, let's get to the next set. That is reaction of metals with other metal salts. And either number the displacement reaction. Okay, in that displacement reaction, or a metal, highly reactive metal, metal, least reactive metal, displace it, substitute it. And the other one is displacement reaction. In this reaction, you have to study what? You have to study the reactivity series. We are already thorough with reactivity series. I know that. In the reactivity series, it is the arrangement of metals in a column, vertical column, in the, in the order of their decreasing reactivity. That is, a column, when we go from top to bottom, the reactivity will decrease. That means, Top highly reactive and the ones at the bottom will be what the least reactive. Okay? They will be the least reactive. This is the reactivity series. Okay. So here I have the reactivity series of metals. And to study this, we have a mnemonic. What is it? Please stop calling me a careless. Not careless. Please stop calling me a zebra. Instead, learn how copper makes C. 
silver gold. You are already thorough with the mnemonics. I know that. Okay. So, in mnemonics, we will learn the and we will learn reactivity series. And we should do the questions accordingly. Simple. Alright? Yes. The next one. Why do metals and non-metals react? In the metals and non-metals react? Any idea? Then we will the example. Look. We will learn metals. They are electropositive in nature. That is they are willing to lose electron. Now, what is the nature of non-metal? They are ready to accept electron. Look, one is ready, ready. ready. So, there is a mutual understanding between them. Right? Yes. So, metal and the metal will donate its electron and the non-metal will accept that electron. Now, what is this? In the diagram, we have a bond. And what is this bond called? This bond is called ionic bond okay the bond formed by transfer of electrons or all electrons are going to be the electron it is called ionic bond if you combine it with metal or non-metal it combines it with in the type compounds they form ionic compounds so what are ionic compounds the compounds formed by the transfer of electron from a metal to a non-metal okay it is also known as electrovalent compounds okay i'm going to have the ionic compounds form g another e ionic compounds form g another electron dot diagram which i'm going to represent you know okay now how will you write the or how will you draw the electron dot diagram so can we play the animation let's uh, show them how magnesium chloride is formed okay yes and you have to remember one thing whenever you represent the electron dot diagram namala valence electrons in a matra represent yellow right yes what does the valence electron mean it is the electrons in the outermost shell outermost shell in the electrons in the valence electrons in the area now why are these atoms reacting it is to attain stability, right? Stable, I don't know, configuration where I'm in terms. Look, here we have magnesium. Now, magnesium, there are three electrons in the, so, we have two electrons, right? Two electrons in its valence shell. So, please pause, okay? Yes, magnesium has got two electrons in its valence shell. Now, in magnesium, the electronic configuration, it is 282. Now, magnesium in the allegium, I want to be like noble gas. So, if I lose these two electrons, look, last of the shell, I'll get eight electrons, just like the noble gas. So, magnesium is ready to lose its electron. Okay. Okay, so you can play it. About magnesium electron donating and radiating. We have chlorine. Look, what about chlorine? Chlorine or what is a non-metal? Okay. Now, in the valence shell, it has got seven electrons. Chlorine and the again, Chindikindavo. Okay. If I get one more electron, I'll be just like noble gas. I will also get eight electrons in my valence shell and I will be stable and I will be happy. Okay. But the problem is, what chlorine can only accept one electron? But magnesium, no, it is ready to give two electrons. So what will happen? Another chlorine atom will come. Because why? One chlorine atom can only accept one electron. Okay. So one more chlorine will atom will come and they will buy the electrons or accept the electrons from magnesium. Yes, sir. Let them accept that electron. Now, magnesium, yes, you can play that. When magnesium loses two electrons, what is the type of charge it gets? It will get a positive charge, right? Magnesium and the detergent, it changes into Mg2 plus because it lost two electrons. Now, what about chlorine? It accepted one electron, right? Yes. So, the chlorine, if one electron accepted, it will get a negative charge. Yes, sir? Negative charge you do chlorine and angantetra chlorine. We have two chlorine atoms here. So this is how you will represent what the electron dot diagram of magnesium chloride. Clear I love? Easy, right? Yes, thank you so thank you so much. That's it. That's how you will do the electron dot diagram. Okay. So 
we saw ionic compounds we saw how to draw the electron dot diagram of magnesium chloride it was just an example now we should know about the properties of these ionic compounds all right we have to study their properties <clears throat> now what is the physical nature of these ionic compounds they are solids and they are very hard okay solids and they are very hard what about their melting and boiling points ionic compounds have very high melting point and very high boiling point now solubility solubility basically that they used to ask question all the time ionic compounds are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents and also solvents like petrol kerosene etc okay but water level and then are they soluble are now what about their conductivity നമുക്ക് അറിയാം അയോണിക് കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് അവർ നോർമൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോളിഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റിലാണ് സോളിഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റിൽ ദേ കെൻ നോട്ട് കണ്ടക്ട് ഇലക്ട്രിസിറ്റി വൈ ബിക്കോസ് അയോൺസ് വേണ്ട അവർക്ക് ദർ ഇസ് നോ അയോൺസ് ദേ ബട്ട് ദേ ആർ ഏബിൾ ടു കണ്ടക്ട് ഇലക്ട്രിസിറ്റി ഇൻ ദർ എക്വ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻ ദർ മോൾട്ടൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ക്ലിയർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഓഫ് ദീസ് അയോണിക് കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് യെസ് സോ വി ഡൺ വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് നൗ ലെറ്റ്സ് മൂവ് ടു occurrence of metals okay how is this metal occurring in our earth's crust for that we have to study two terms that is mineral and ore i think you can keep the banner so mineral and ore what is a mineral the element or compound which occur naturally in earth's crust നമ്മൾ ഓർത്തിന്റെ ക്രസ്റ്റിൽ നാച്ചുറൽ ആയിട്ട് ഒക്കെ അറിയുന്ന എലമെന്റ്സ് ഓർ കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇതെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മിനറൽസ് നൗ ഇനി ചില മിനറൽസിൽ മെറ്റലിന്റെ കണ്ടന്റ് വിൽ ബി വെരി ഹൈ ഓക്കെ സോ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും വളരെ എക്കണോമിക്കൽ ആയിട്ട് വി ക്യാൻ എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ദാറ്റ് മെറ്റൽ ഫ്രം വാട്ട് ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് മിനറൽ ദാറ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് മിനറൽസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് ഓൾസ് എന്നാ ഓൾസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ദ മിനറൽസ് ഫ്രം വിച്ച് a metal can be profitably extracted okay and you know ores and what else then we have a table here these are the ores of some metals we have to study that okay first one is mercury mercury and ore we have to say it is cinnabar and its formula is hgs now the second one is zinc which is zinc blend which has a formula zns copper copper glands which has a formula cu2s okay manganese pyrolusite mno2 iron hematite fe2o3 then aluminium the all are known like common one the common ore of aluminium is bauxite which is al2o3.2h2o it has got two water molecules of crystallization all right yes ab endu idu നമുക്ക് അറിയാം നാച്ചുറലി ഇങ്ങനെ ഓൾസിൽ നിന്നാണ് നമുക്ക് മെറ്റൽസിന് എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും നൗ ദീസ് ഈ ഓൾസിൽ നിന്ന് മെറ്റലിന് എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്തെടുക്കുന്ന പ്രോസസ്സിന് കിട്ടും ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ്റെ 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 പ്രോസസ്സ് ഇസ് നോൺ ആസ് മെറ്റലോജി നൗ ദിസ് ഹാസ് ഗോട്ട് ഫ്യൂ പ്രോസസ്സസ് ആസ് വെൽ ഫേസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഫേസ്റ്റ് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഇസ് എൻറിച്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾസ് എൻ്റെ എൻറിച്ച്മെൻറ്റ് എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്കറിയാം നാച്ചു നമുക്ക് നേച്ചറിൽ നിന്ന് കിട്ടുന്ന ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നാച്ചുറലി ഒക്കെറിങ് റൈറ്റ് സോ ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ കണ്ടെയിൻ ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ഇംപ്യൂരിറ്റീസ് ഓക്കെ ഇനി ആ ഇംപ്യൂരിറ്റീസിനെ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്ന പ്രോസസ്സിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എൻറിച്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾസ് നൗ ദീസ് ഇംപ്യൂരിറ്റീസ് ഹാസ് ഗോട്ട് എ നെയിം ഓക്കെ ദ ആർ കോൾഡ് ഗാങ്ക് ഓക്കെ എന്താ പറയാ ഗാങ്ക് എന്നാ പറയാ അപ്പൊ ഈ റിമൂവ് ഈ റിമൂവൽ ഓഫ് ഗാങ്ക് ഈ ഒരു പ്രോസസ്സിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് പറയാ എൻറിച്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾസ് അത് നമുക്ക് വി ഹാവ് ലോഡ് ഓഫ് പ്രോസസ്സസ് ഓക്കെ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് സെപ്പറേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ഫ്രോത്ത് ഫ്ലോട്ടേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ബട്ട് യു ഡോൺ ഹാവ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി സ്റ്റഡി എനി ഓഫ് ദോസ് ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് നോ വട്ട് ഇസ് എൻറിച്ച്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ മീൻ ഓക്കെ വട്ട് ഇസ് ദറ്റ് മീൻ റിമൂവൽ ഓഫ് ഇംപ്യൂരിറ്റീസ് ഓക്കെ നൗ വി ഹാവ് ദി എൻറിച്ച്ഡ് ഓൾ ഇംപ്യൂരിറ്റീസ് ഒക്കെ ഒരുവിധം നമ്മൾ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്തു ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെൻറ്റ് പ്യുവർ നൗ ഓ റൈറ്റ് നൗ വി ഹാവ് ടു എക്സ് extract these metals out of it e or nin we have to extract the metal how will we do that namak ariya metals in a different reactivity ana le we have metals with low reactivity with medium reactivity and we have metals which are highly reactive okay so e extraction process for these three sets of metals in a different ana ഓക്കെ ലോ റിയാക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് മെറ്റൽസ് നമ്മൾ വേറെ രീതിയിൽ എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യുക മീഡിയം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഇഫ് ദ മെറ്റൽ ഹാസ് വെരി ഹൈ റിയാക്ടിവിറ്റി ദി എക്സ്ട്രാക്ഷൻ പ്രോസസ്സ് ഇസ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് സി ഇറ്റ് വൺ ബൈ വൺ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റ്സ് എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ദ മെറ്റൽസ് വിച്ച് ഹാവ് ലോ റിയാക്ടിവിറ്റി ദി എക്സാമ്പിൾ ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു സ്റ്റഡി ഇസ് മാർച്ചുറി ആൻഡ് കോപ്പർ 
ini least reactive aitla nammude mercury um copper um they are found in as they are sulfide ores avu sulfide ores aitana endeyunnathu exist cheynathu okay namukku appo just namukku nokkam enginiyana ivare extract cheyidathu adhu mercury um copper um extract cheyidha edukkunnathu all right yes now we said that <coughs> they are all existing as their sulfide ores a table we have already learned the sulfide ore of mercury is called cinnabar and that of copper is called copper glands okay first namaku mercury edutalo yes nammal first cinnabar edukunu nammal avare endi da madi the metals with low reactivity avare just oxygen de presence il angotte heat cheyda madi okay appo endi nariyo ee ore first adinde oxide aayittu convert cheyyu okay first gets converted into oxide and on further heating adil nendiyu we will get the metal okay yes cinnabar heat cheyidappo adinde oxide aayittu convert cheyidu and on further heating we will get what we will get mercury look the cinnabar first it is reacted with oxygen to form its oxide and sulfur dioxide gas is released ivada form cheyidittulla oxide endiyu on further heating will give you the metal and oxygen gases released okay app ingane oxygen de presence il nammal ore ne heat cheyina process ne endha parayan nariyo you already know it it is called roasting roast cheyidu edukkan okay it is called roasting oxygen de presence ingane heat cheya okay low reactive metals ne endi thamadi just oxygen de presence angotte heat cheyida madi the metal can be extracted okay yes now let's see the example of copper okay copper and the ji just heat cheya avar oxide aayittu convert cheyum on further heating we will get what copper okay look here so cu2s oxygenate react cheyidittu first it will form its oxide now ivada form cheyidittulla oxide will react with the remaining copper cu2s that is copper glands and forms what copper and sulfur dioxide gas okay this is also an important reaction that you have to study angle nammal metals ne extract cheyidu edukku okay so the metals with very low reactivity endi thamadi just heat the prolonged heating in presence of oxygen is more than enough the metal can be extracted okay yes now let's see how to extract metals with medium reactivity in moderately reactive aitla metals they are either present as their sulfides or carbonates onnalinga sulfides aayittu irikkum allengi avare carbonates aayittu irikkum exist cheyunnadu now namakku vanna task endha nariyo ee carbonates nim sulfide sulfides nim first nammal avare oxide aayittu convert cheyanam kaaranam endha nariyo metal easy aayittu extract cheyan pettunnathu avare oxide aayittu irikkumbolana ഓക്കെ യെസ് ഇതിന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ട് പഠിക്കാനുള്ളത് സിങ്ക് ആണ് നോക്ക് സിങ്കിന്റെ സൾഫൈഡ് ഓർ ആണ് സിങ്ക് ബ്ലെൻഡ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദ കാർബണേറ്റ് ഓർ ഓഫ് സിങ്ക് ഇസ് കലാമിൻ വിച്ച് ഇസ് സെഡ് ആൻഡ് സി ഒ ത്രീ ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഇവർ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് കൺവേർട്ട് ദ മീൻ ടു ദ എയർ ഓക്സൈഡ്സ് നൗ ഇതിന് വി ഹാവ് ടു ടെക്നിക്സ് first one is roasting roasting which means we are heating the ore in presence of excess air oxygen the presence ingane heat kiya okay mainly sulfide ores in aanu nammal roasting nadathu okay roasting is mainly done for sulfide ores okay now there is another process that is called calcination in the calcination nammal oxygen the supply limit cheyana okay now the ore is heated in limited supply of air എന്നിട്ട് നമ്മൾ അവരെ ഓക്സൈഡ് ആയിട്ട് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്യണം ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് കാൽസിനേഷൻ ഓക്കെ അതാണ് നമ്മുടെ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രോസസ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്തു നമ്മുടെ ഓൾസിനെ അതിന്റെ ഓക്സൈഡ് ആയിട്ട് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്തു നൗ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് വി ഗോട്ട് ദി ഓക്സൈഡ് നൗ വി ഹാവ് ടു എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ദ മെറ്റൽ ഫ്രം ദി ഓക്സൈഡ് അല്ലേ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും വി ഹാവ് ടു ഡു റിഡക്ഷൻ ഒരു റിഡ്യൂസിംഗ് ഏജന്റ് വെച്ചിട്ട് വി വിൽ ഹീറ്റ് ദ മെറ്റൽ ഓക്സൈഡ് അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് കിട്ടും നമുക്ക് മെറ്റൽ കിട്ടും okay oxide it convert edu and the last step was reduction ingane cheyidaraana namukku the metals with medium reactivity ne extract cheyan pattu okay yes nammal already discuss edu sulfide ores ne aanu nammal roasting nadatha carbonate ores ne nammal endiya calcination aanu nadatha nokku 
zinc sulfide oxygen the presence le exercise the heat evol it gets converted into zinc oxide now what about calamine that is zinc carbonate avare they are heated in limited supply of air it will get converted into its oxide and along with the carbon dioxide gases released okay appo namakku endu kitti namakku metal inde oxide kitti adu madhiyo namakku no we need the metal we need to extract the metal so we will move to the next step that is reduction appo reduction avendittu we will use a reducing agent and e case la nammal use the reducing agent is carbon okay carbon is used as the reducing agent here look what is this carbon doing carbon zinc oxide the oxygen what is snatch yana le yes it is taking the oxygen from zinc oxide zinc oxide power endi do it got reduced into zinc kanda oxygen remove ay poi le got reduced into zinc now we got the metal okay now e carbon namak ella case le endai to use cheyan pattilla reducing agent ait use cheyan pattilla okay look the highly reactive metals such as sodium calcium aluminium etc are used as reducing agent because they can displace the metals of lower reactivity from their compounds okay yes adine kurche examples nokku aluminium nokku mno2 mno2 when you re, uh, when you react it with aluminium aluminium will strong aitla what highly reactive metal aanu okay yes aluminium will reducing agent aitta act edittu namakku mno2 ne reduce edittu endha akum mn aakke therum now ee process nadakkumbo a lot of heat is released highly exothermic reaction the heat released is like so hot that the metal produced here will be in its molten state molten state lana ivada manganese endha undavunnathu okay now this reaction okay ee reaction we have like ingathe more reactive metals vechittu alleke aluminium vechittu nammala metals ne reducing agent aayittu nammal use cheyunnilla aluminiyathine this has got variety of uh, what applications okay one such process is called thermit reaction alleke thermit process in a thermit process no chenna it is a reaction between iron oxide and aluminium okay iron oxide aluminium theta react cheyumbo aluminium endeyum aluminium a oxygen iron oxide nu oxygen snatch edittu we will get iron and aluminium oxide and a lot of heat is released it is uh, like so violent that the iron formed here will be in its molten state okay now idu bayangar exothermic aanu adondaanallo iron molten state aayittu form cheyunnathu now this reaction is used to join the cracked machine parts and also to join railway tracks the pusian like mendia medita we use what this reaction all right yes <clears throat> that is that is it now we are going to extract metals which have got high reactivity metals lower reactive aitla metals ne extract cheyidu medium reactivity like metals ne namme extract cheyidu now we are extracting metals which have very high reactivity okay even namme extract and use in the process ana electrolytic reduction okay electrolysis nadathumbo namukku endu kittu we will get the metal okay yes for example sodium magnesium calcium ivarokke namale kittunna engena nanaru it is by the electrolysis of its molten chlorides avare chlorides eduthittu we will pass electricity through them appo endu yenu cheyyan we will get the metal deposited at the cathode idu namme chloride aanu edukkanengil the chlorine gas will be liberated at anode ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഹൈലി റിയാക്റ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള മെറ്റൽസിനെ എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്ത് എടുക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ യെസ് നമ്മുടെ തേർഡ് പ്രോസസ് ഇസ് റിഫൈനിങ് ഓഫ് മെറ്റൽസ് നമ്മൾ ഓർസ് എടുത്തു ഓറിനെ എൻറിച്ച് ചെയ്തു മെറ്റലിനെ എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്തു ഈ എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്ത മെറ്റൽസിലും എന്തുണ്ടാവും കുറച്ച് എമൗണ്ട് ഇമ്പ്യൂരിറ്റീസ് ഉണ്ടാവും ഓക്കെ ആ ഇമ്പ്യൂരിറ്റീസിനെ നമ്മൾ ഫൈനൽ ആയിട്ട് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാൻ പോവാണ് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോവാണ് ദാറ്റ് പ്രോസസ് ഇസ് കോൾ refining of metals and the refining of the impurities and we need to remove it and the most common technique used is electrolytic refining and you have to study the electrolytic refining of copper okay so copper the electrolytic refining process we have to do we have to take pure copper and impure copper okay it is an electrolytic cell okay electrolytic cell 
അപ്പൊ ഇലക്ട്രോലിറ്റിക് സെൽ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ദർ വിൽ ബി എ കാതോഡ് ആൻഡ് ദർ വിൽ ബി എൻ ആനോഡ് ഓക്കെ നൗ ഓൾവേസ് റിമെമ്പർ Impure copper is made as the anode. Impure ആയിട്ടുള്ള കോപ്പർ ആണ് നമ്മൾ ആനോഡ് ആക്കി എടുക്കുക ആൻഡ് പ്യുവർ കോപ്പർ വിൽ ബി മെയ്ഡ് ദി കാത്തോഡ് പ്യുവർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള കോപ്പറിനെ നമ്മൾ കാത്തോഡ് ആയിട്ട് എടുക്കും ന ഇലക്ട്രോളജിക് സെല്ല് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ആണെങ്കിൽ വി നീഡ് എൻ ഇലക്ട്രോലൈറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് യെസ് വിൽ ടേക്ക് ദി സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് acidified copper sulfate ഏത് മെറ്റൽ ആണോ എനിക്ക് പ്യൂരിഫൈ ചെയ്യേണ്ട ആ മെറ്റലിൽ തന്നെ സോൾട്ട് സൊല്യൂഷൻ ആയിരിക്കും നമ്മുടെ ഇലക്ട്രോലൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ന വൈ ഈസ് ദിസ് കോപ്പർ സൾഫൈറ്റ് ആസിഡിഫൈഡ് കുറച്ച് ആസിഡ് ആഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അല്ലെ വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു ഇൻക്രീസ് ദ കണ്ടക്ടിവിറ്റി കണ്ടക്ടിവിറ്റി ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ആസിഡിഫൈ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മെയ്ഡ് ദി ഇലക്ട്രോലൈറ്റ് ന ഓൺ പാസിംഗ് കറണ്ട് ത്രൂ ദി ഇലക്ട്രോലൈറ്റ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും പ്യോർ കോപ്പർ ഫ്രം ദി ആനോഡ് ആനോഡിൽ നിന്നുള്ള pure copper it will dissolve in the electrolyte okay pure copper from anode will dissolve in the electrolyte electrolyte dissolve idu and the equal amount etra amount dissolve idu athre amount copper endiyum from the electrolyte will get deposited on the cathode anode il ninnu copper solution electrolyte like varunu electrolyte ninnu copper cathode lu poi deposit idu so as the reaction proceeds you can see that anode inga cherda cherda narrow narrow aayittu varum the cathode is getting broader and broader full pure copper vechittu deposit cheyum evade cathode lu okay now impurities il endu sambhavikkum soluble aayittulla impurities aanengil adha solution le dissolve aagum and the insoluble impurities anode ne thottu thaali settle aagum and it is called anode but okay it is called anode but that's it adana electrolytic refining of copper now to sum up nammal endu edu first nammal ore ne eduthu ore nammal enrich edu adaniya nammal concentration ennu parayunnathu okay yes in nammal metal ne extract cheyana le for that we have metals with high reactivity medium reactivity and low reactivity low reactivity illa metals ne nammal endha cheyyudu they will be present as their sulfide ores സിമ്പിൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്താൽ മതി ജസ്റ്റ് ഓക്സിജന്റെ പ്രസൻസ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഹീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക അതിന് നമ്മൾ ഹോസ്റ്റിംഗ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അല്ലെ യെസ് അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് കിട്ടും മെറ്റൽ കിട്ടും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡാൻ ആൻഡ് ഡസ്റ്റ് ന വാട്ട് അബൌട്ട് ദ വൺ വിത്ത് മീഡിയം റിയാക്ടിവിറ്റി ദ ആർ പ്രസന്റ് എയ്തർ ആസ് ദ കാർബണേറ്റ് ഓർ ആസ് ദ സൾഫൈഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ടാസ്ക് ഇസ് ടു കൺവേർട്ട് ദം ഇൻ ടു ദയർ ഓക്സൈഡ് അപ്പൊ കാർബണേറ്റ് ഓർ ആണെങ്കിൽ വിൽ കണ്ടക്ട് കാൽസിനേഷൻ വാട്ട് ഇസ് കാൽസിനേഷൻ ഹീറ്റിംഗ് ദ ഓർ ഇൻ ലിമിറ്റഡ് സപ്ലൈ ഓഫ് എയർ ന what is roasting sulfide carbonate or anengil calcination sulfide or anengil roasting oxygen de like excess supply of oxygen la nammal ore ne endu yana heat cheyana appo ingane cheyumbo they will get converted into their oxide ennu nammal or strong reducing agent vechittu endu yum avare reduce cheyum and then we purify it okay yes now what about the metals with high reactivity avar endu ya electrolytic reduction nadatha we will get The, uh, the pure metal deposited at the cathode okay yes that's it now let's study about the last topic which is corrosion okay so you can put the banner it is corrosion in the corrosion nu parayanja cheri class mudile kekunna le what is corrosion it is a eating up of metal allengil destruction deterioration of metal metal inga nashichu bodhena nammal endu parayunnathu corrosion endu parayunnathu <clears throat> the first word here you go the definition it is a slow process in which <clears throat> metals get damaged by the action of air moisture and other gases present in the atmosphere ee or process ne nammal endu parayunnathu corrosion endu parayunnathu now first one you have to study is corrosion of iron nokka okay? iron corrode edengil we need the presence of water and oxygen okay വാട്ടറും ഓക്സിജനും ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമാണ് എന്ത് ചെയ്യുക ഈ കൊറോഷൻ പ്രോസസ് നടക്കുക നമുക്ക് ദി അയൺ ഇസ് കമ്പൈനിങ് വിത്ത് ഓക്സിജൻ ആൻഡ് വാട്ടർ മോയ്സ്ചറിനായിട്ട് റിയാക്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് സ്ലോലി ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഫോം വാട്ട് റസ്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടാവും തുരുമ്പ് പിടിച്ചു പോവുക അല്ലേ യെസ് സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹൈഡ്രേറ്റഡ് ഫെറിക് ഓക്സൈഡ് ആണ് എന്തെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് റസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് റസ്റ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് റസ്റ്റ് കൊറോഷൻ ഓഫ് അയൺ the next one that you have to study is this nokka nammada veetilokke silver articles okke undavum alle allengil chalu silver jewelleries undavum ee silver 
silver jewelry is okay after some time you can see a black coating on it a black color coating adu endha irikkum it is reacting with sulfur content in the air appa silver uh, air illa sulfur content it react cheyidittu it will form silver sulfide okay ee silver sulfide ne black color a silver sulfide form cheyunnondana nammude silver articles okke endha endha ay kaanunnathu black color tarnish aayi povu alle this is how they react okay silver is reacting with the hydrogen sulfide in the gas okay hydrogen like atmosphere of course sulfur containing gases and up the hydrogen sulfide it react it it will form its sulfide ag2s silver sulfide and along with that hydrogen gases form e silver sulfide are in the our black color it namaku kaanunnathu okay black color coating is due to formation of silver sulfide okay then namaku kaananulladana corrosion of copper e copper vessels okay chala like after some time or green color coating avaru mullu kaanu the best example that you can use uh, see is statue of liberty statue of liberty was made of copper okay it was nalla reddish brown in color ipo adinte color endha it is green right adu endha it is due to corrosion okay appo endha nadakkunde here copper is reacting with oxygen then carbon dioxide and moisture in the atmosphere and it will form a compound like this cu co3 dot cuoh twice it in that you this thing is called as basic copper carbonate okay basic copper carbonate form g now this thing has what this has got a green color a basic copper carbonate in the color and it is green appa ivare atmosphere moisture ne the gases ne to react edittu basic copper carbonate form cheyumbolana namaku endu yenad or green color appearance kaanan pattunnathu okay so this is the corrosion of copper iron ne corrosion kandu silver ne corrosion kandu and we also have seen the corrosion of copper as well so corrode idu poda karyam paranju we have to protect them right protect cheyende varu okay nokku engena nammal prevent cheya appo rusting of iron adu corrosion example appo idu engena nammal avare prevent cheya we have some options either you can paint it you can oil it greasing galvanization chrome plating anodizing making alloys these are all examples through which you can prevent what corrosion so example eduthu paranju nu mathram okay yes now in prevention of corrosion le you have to keep in mind about galvanization one word ne eppozhum choyikkalo what is galvanization the iron articles okay rust cheythu povan like povadirikkan vendite we'll apply a coating of zinc okay why because zinc is more reactive than iron iron react cheyina pagara zinc poi react cheyidolu okay and it will save our iron or protective layer pole form cheyum okay yes so coating of zinc is given to iron articles ee process ne nammal endu parayunnathu galvanization okay so galvanization is done then we have alloying and the alloy alloys undaaka alloy is a homogeneous mixture aanu le yes ഒന്നല്ലെങ്കിൽ ടു മെറ്റൽസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആ മെറ്റൽ ആൻഡ് നോൺ മെറ്റൽ ഇവരൊക്കെ കൂടെ ഒരു ഫിക്സഡ് പ്രൊപ്പോർഷനിൽ മിക്സ് ചെയ്യാണ് ഇതിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ അലോയിങ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഫൈൻ യെസ് ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് മേക്കിംഗ് അലോയ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് അലോയിങ് ആൻഡ് അലോയിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ വെരി ഗുഡ് മെത്തേഡ് ടു ഇംപ്രൂവ് ദ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് മെറ്റൽസിന്റെ ടെൻസൈൽ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഓക്കെ ഇംപ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാനൊക്കെ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം അലോയ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല ഓക്കെ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഒക്കെ ഇംപ്രൂവ് ഇംപ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നാ ഇത് എങ്ങനെ അലോയ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അറിയോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഒരു പ്രൈമറി മെറ്റൽ ഉണ്ടാവും അതായത് നമ്മൾ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ കോൺസെൻട്രേഷൻ എടുക്കുന്ന ഒരു മെറ്റൽ ആ മെറ്റലിനെ ഫസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ മെൽറ്റ് ചെയ്യും എന്നിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ആഡ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട ആൾക്കാരെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും അതിലേക്ക് മെല്ലെ ഡിസോൾവ് ചെയ്യും ഇൻ ഫിക്സഡ് പ്രൊപ്പോർഷൻ പിന്നെ അവരെ ഗ്രാജുവലി അവരെ കൂൾ ചെയ്യും ടു റൂം ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഹൗ അലോയ്സ് ആർ മെയ്ഡ് ഓക്കെ യെസ് നാ there are some here are some examples for some commonly asked alloys first one stainless steel stainless steel nu parayna iron nickel and chromium thinde alloy aanu okay brass brass is an alloy of copper and zinc what about bronze bronze copper inde tin inde alloy aanu now what about solder solder is an alloy of lead and tin now amalgam amalgam nu parayumbo chief aitla aalu will be mercury mercury with any other substance okay sodium amalgam und silver amalgam und okay mercury irikum are one of the chief components that is amalgam all right now ini nammal ivare 
alloy aakuna samayathu electrical conductivity our melting point of the alloy will always be less than that of the pure metal for example brass and bronze are they are alloys of copper right yes copper is a very good conductor of electricity but when you compare the conductivity of copper alone and that of brass and bronze the conductivity will be less for brass and bronze kind of bronze okay now solder solder tin in a lead in your alloy are right yes <clears throat> so when when a solder is made by alloying them namukku kittana alloy de melting point will be low when it is compared to that of their pure metal all right yes these are the points that you have to keep in mind so metals and non metals are a simple chapter are some equations as an important concept repeated i task uh, like uh, repeatedly asking questions on like a chapter on our metals and non metals nu parayunnathu and we have uh, completed the almost uh, all the important topics within uh, like few minutes right yes i hope the session was really helpful for you guys and for more sessions like this stay tuned with 90 plus and thank you so much guys and see you in the next session have a good day bye